birds are the only animals with feathers on their body. They have wings to fly. Parts of a bird's body. The different parts of a bird's body are shown in the picture given alongside. Beak, eye, body feathers, claws, wings, flight feathers, tail. Birds can fly because they have light bodies, well-formed wings and strong muscles. Their hollow bones make the body light. They have a boat-shaped body. This shape helps them to cut through air and fly. The wings are attached to the body by strong muscles that help in moving wings while flying. Their tail acts as a rudder and helps in changing direction while flying. Feathers. A bird's body, wings and tail are covered with feathers. Birds have following three types of feathers. Flight feathers. These feathers are long and flat. These are found in the wings and the tail. They help the bird to fly. Down feathers. These feathers are soft and fluffy. They keep the bird warm. Body feathers. These feathers cover the body of the bird. They give shape to the bird's body. Beaks. Birds do not have teeth. They eat with their beaks. Different birds have different types of beaks. The shape of the beak depends on the kind of food a bird eats. Types of beaks. Strong, sharp and hooked beaks. Eagle, vulture and kite eat small animals like frogs and snakes. They are called birds of prey. They have strong, sharp and hooked beaks for tearing flesh. Short and horny beak. Sparrow, pigeon and peacock eat grains, nuts and seeds. They have short, hard and horny beaks to crush hard nuts, grains and seeds. Short and curved beak. A parrot has a short curved beak to break nuts and bite hard fruits. Strong, heavy and chisel-shaped beak. A woodpecker's beak is very strong, heavy and chisel-shaped. It helps the woodpecker make holes in the tree trunk to catch insects and to make its nest. Long, slender beak. The hoopoe has a long, slender and curved beak. This beak helps it to pull out insects from their hiding places. Broad and flat beak. Duck and goose have a broad and flat beak with tiny holes. When they take muddy water with insects in their beak, the muddy water flows out from the tiny holes, leaving behind plants and insects inside the beak. Long, thin and curved beak. A sunbird has a long, thin and curved beak. This kind of beak helps it suck the nectar, sweet juice of flowers. Hummingbirds also have this type of beak. Short and broad beak. Swallows have short and broad beaks. They eat tiny insects. Their mouth and tongue are very sticky. These birds while flying keep their beaks open. Thus, tiny flying insects get stuck into their mouths. Feet and claws. All birds have two feet. Each foot generally has four toes that bear claws. Birds use their feet and claws to walk, hop around, protect themselves from enemies, catch and hold food. Perching birds. Some birds have toes that help them to hold the branch of a tree very firmly to rest or even sleep at night without falling. This act is called perching and these birds are called perching birds. Perching birds like crow, sparrow and pigeon have three toes in front 
and one behind. These toes curl around the branch and hold it firmly. Climbing birds, the parrot and woodpecker have two toes pointing upwards and two toes pointing downwards. They are called climbing birds. Scratching birds. Birds like hens, peacocks and quail use their feet to dig the ground in search of buried seeds and insects. They have three toes in front and one at back with sharp claws. Swimming birds. Water birds like ducks, geese and swans have webbed feet to swim in water. They have three front toes and one back toe. The three toes at front are joined by skin, giving web-like appearance. The webbed feet help them paddle and push water while swimming. Wading birds. Birds that can walk over shallow water are called wading birds. The crane, heron and paddy birds are wading birds. They have thin and long legs with wide spreading toes. Running birds. Ostrich and cassowary are running birds. They cannot fly. They have long and strong legs for running. Nests. Like us, birds need a home to live in. The home of a bird is called a nest. Birds build nests at safe places to 1. Protect themselves from harsh weather. 2. Lay eggs and sit over them till the baby birds come out. And 3. Protect their eggs and nestlings from enemies and harsh weather. Newborn birds do not have feathers and are weak. Their eyes are closed. The parent birds protect and feed the nestlings. They leave the nest after the nestlings grow up to feed and fly on their own. Different birds make different types of nests. Nests of birds. Sparrow. It makes its nest in houses, trees or any other protected place. It uses grass, leaves, straw and cotton to make its nest. Pigeons also make similar nests. Tailor bird. It sews its nest with its beak to make its nest it uses. Thread, wool and vegetable fiber to sew its nest. Vulture and eagle. They make their nests on high trees. The nest looks like a shallow cup. They use sticks and twigs to make their nests. Woodpecker. The woodpecker uses its chisel-like beak to make a big hole in a tree trunk. This hole is used as a nest. It lines the hole with wood chips to make the nest cozy. Weaver bird. It uses grass and twigs and ties them into knots to make its nest. The nest is strong, big and hangs from the branch of a tree. The entrance is at the lower end of the nest.